When it comes to hosting and AMD, most companies choose AMD Epic, but there are also some that use AMD Ryzen. Ryzen is designed for gamers, not for servers. So why they do it? Because Ryzen's have a small amount of cores, but these cores are pushed to the max in terms of frequency, while AMD Epic prioritize efficiency. AMD Epic is the better solution for servers, because in the same space you will have 4 or even 8, 16 times more cores, and because they sit in frequency sweet spot instead of pushing frequency to the max, they are also way more power efficient per core. So Ryzen seems like a stupid idea for server. Less cores, less efficiency and more space wasted. But people still do it, because the performance of single core workloads is so tempting. Let's see how Ryzen VPS with fastest cores compares to standard AMD Epic VPS. I've got 4 vCore Ryzen 9950X VPS from Barrowhost and when I saw performance I ordered it once again and again and again, 4 VPSs in total, because for me the performance of these Ryzen's is just magical. This sale is long gone, but you should be able to find 4 vCore Ryzen 9950X VPSs for just a little bit more from various providers. We will compare it to 4, 8, 16 vCore Hessner instances, which claim to have AMD Epic 2nd generation, but they have AMD Epic 3rd generation in European locations. Keep in mind not only vCores, but also cost of these VPSs. Single core performance of Ryzen is twice as good. This is why people love Ryzen's in VPSs. One vCore Ryzen is just as fast as two vCore AMD Epic, and the four vCore Intel Xeon that you will get for 40 euro per month from most popular providers. But this Ryzen has four vCores, not one. And in multi-core score, we can see that it's slightly faster than. 8 vCore AMD Epic Milan. PHP Bench. If you are hyper optimizing your WordPress website while spending hours and hours just to have 10% faster website, you could just switch to Ryzen, have the worst optimized WordPress of all time, and people would be amazed that your site is loading instantly. This is exactly what I did. Redis Benchmark. Almost 4 million set operations per second. Because why not? Nginx is one of the applications that scales wonderfully with additional cores. With two times more cores, you get two times better throughput. But even with such amazing multi-core scaling, 4 vCore Ryzen manages to beat 8 vCore AMD Epic. ZSTD decompression and compression speed. Here, 8 vCore AMD Epic finally wins against 4 vCore AMD Ryzen. So we also see that we cannot just tell Ryzen cores are two times better because it depends on what you use. MariaDB benchmark. I was surprised to see that it didn't scale well with 16 core VPU instance. It's faster, but not by a lot. And just like in the ZSTD, we can see that 8 core Epic can be slightly faster than 4 core AMD Ryzen. AV1 encoding test. I was surprised that it scaled well with 16 vCores because AV1 encoders are very bad at multicore scaling. That's why chunked encoding become popular. But with newer SVT AV1 releases, we can see that they improved multicore scaling by a lot. I wasn't aware of this and it's very helpful. In X264 encoding test, we see very similar differences between instances as with SVT AV1. Compilation time. 4-core Ryzen absolutely demolishes 16 vCore AMD Epic. Looking at the improvement between 8 and 16 vCore AMD Epic, it looks like you would need maybe even 64 vCores of AMD Epic to match 4 cores of Ryzen. So to summarize, AMD Ryzen VPSs are way faster than standard AMD Epic VPSs. But also keep in mind that AMD Ryzen's physically have 16 cores maximum, whereas AMD Epic can have 128 cores. And on top of that, you can have two of them in one system, so 256 cores, 16 times more than best Ryzen. In the end, it all comes to what you need in a server and what the price is. 9 euro that I paid was amazing deal for 4 vCores of AMD Ryzen, and I would say that in a lower price range, you'll be better off choosing any AMD Ryzen offer. Even just one vCore can be good, if it costs like a couple of bucks, Great server. I would pick AMD Epic only if offer is really good. For example, for 10 euro per month at Netcap, I would get 256 gigabytes of storage instead of 80 gigabytes that I got at Barrowhost. 
CPU will be slower, but I will get three times more space. It's all about compromises. That's all for today. Have a nice day.